Some people will try to tell you that you need to have a crate that has a list of supplies in it as long as your arm. They will recommend that you have everything from a stapler to pencil sharpeners to rolls of tape. I went out and dutifully bought all of that stuff and a crate to carry it in and carried it to every sub job for about a week. Once I realized that 90% of the stuff in the crate was not needed, I went out and bought a sturdy messenger bag and filled it with only the stuff listed in the previous lecture. Believe it or not, but you really do not have to bring your own tape. Most teachers will have tape readily available, and if they don't, staples and paper clips will work just as well. One book that was recommended by a job agency I worked for had a ton of worksheets that could be printed off for days where the teacher forgot to leave enough work behind for the students. In the years that I subbed, I never used it or wanted to use it. 99% of the time, the teacher will leave more work than you can get through in a day. For the other days, when you have an extra 10 to 15 minutes to fill, it is much better to grab a book and do a read aloud if you are working with elementary kids or give older kids time to work on homework. Random busy work is not going to help anyone. You do not need to bring your own markers or highlighters. If you are in a class where these things are used on a regular basis, there will be a supply of them that the kids are aware of and can show you where it is. If you buy these things and carry them with you, they will slowly disappear over time and you will be buying them over and over again. Just use the ones that are already in the classroom. Some books will even tell you to bring paper. If you give a kid a sheet of paper, then every kid will want a sheet of your paper. It doesn't matter that it looks just like the paper they already have, they want yours. Carry a spiral notebook so you can leave notes for the teacher. Don't carry pads of extra writing or construction paper to distribute to the kids. It will get expensive fast. And finally, don't bring anything that the kids might want. If you carry something that kids are attracted to or may be valuable, sooner or later one of them will try to steal it. A shocking number of students come from homes that are below the poverty line. They often have nothing to call their own, and being in a class full of other kids who have nice clothes and cool lunch boxes can do things to a poor kid's head. They aren't bad, they aren't criminals, they are kids. If you have a fancy watch, necklace, or anything else you don't want stolen or broken, accidents do happen, then leave it at home. Now you should have a pretty good idea of what to have in your backpack or messenger bag and what you can leave at home. All of the prep work is done. Now we will get on with it and talk about how you can make it through the first day of subbing like a champ.